Mission Mission Pace, it's Chris Valenti, and welcome back to the channel today, boys. We are back on the Jackbox games. Had a lot of fun, haven't done this in a while, but today we're gonna be playing Talking Points and Quiplash. So, we're gonna start with Talking Points. This game basically just gonna be top-notch presenters. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And what I need you guys to do is subscribe right now. A lot of you guys aren't subscribed, so hit that sub button, turn all the notifications on, and also give this a thumbs up. If this hits 10K likes, we'll do another Jackbox game again. And we're just gonna get started boys all right yo guys before we get into this video i gotta let y'all know that i'll be competing in the hundred thousand dollar house of highlights grand prix and it's gonna be live friday october 1st i'm going up against a bunch of dope youtubers and i need your guys help i need you to click that link down below set the reminder tune in because you guys could actually help me and vote for power-ups yes you could probably give me some power-ups so i can get through my tall ass has never been in a go-kart but guess what? I like being the underdog. And I'm going to try to win that 100K. Guys, if I win that 100K, I'm going to give some of y'all. I swear to God, I will. So I need you guys to help me tune in. Vote for some power-ups to help your boy out. Giraffe gang, we on top. Click that link in the description. Shout out to House of Highlights. It's going down October 1st. Be there. All right, Jesse. Talk to us, man. All right, fellas. Today, I'm doing a presentation. Okay. Give it a second. Mitchell, help me out. That's me. What is in your mouth and your photo? Dude, it's I don't my know, thigh, it's bro. Fucking weird. It's my thigh. It's not your thigh. It's the hundred percent my thigh. Hello, boys. My name is Jesse, and today my talk is gonna be about ding 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 ding. <clears throat> my advice to the graduating class of Liberty Benton High School is this: hit the most devious lick. Okay. Oh, First of all. First of all, this is how I look every day when I come home from school because the teachers are bullies, the kids are bullies, and fuck the education system. I deserve another toilet. So I'm gonna take the toilet from the school because I wanna get back at the school. So I'm gonna take the toilet. I'm also gonna take all of the hand sanitizer things. So that way when I come home from school, I'm not in a box depressed and I have cool things and I feel like I got back at school for the evil things they have done to me and the teachers have been depressing. So some of you have asked why I'm your graduation speaker. I'm gonna tell you guys the truth right now about that. Yeah. There's one reason. And that reason is um <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be screaming as loud as a dinosaur. Hit the most devious lick you can. I want you to take the football field goalpost. I want you to take your math teacher's glasses so he can't read. And I want you to steal every iPhone in the entire class to get your revenge on all the students for bullying you and all the kids and fuck the schools. Hit the lick, man. Even on your way home, take a street sign while you're at it. Fuck everything. And then also, you have a lot of weird things to be proud of, all of you students here at this high school. Now, let's go through some of them. Someone stole Santa Claus as a lick. That is the lick of the year, people. It was done in Christmas. Can't put anyone on the naughty list. We're all good boys, and we're gonna be taking licks of everyone's cookies this year. So watch out. Be prepared. Wow. I, I don't know what I learned. Or... James, you know what they call me? The Lick King. That's what do you true. lick? What? What do you lick? What was my name? Lick Kings. Licking these nuts. I'm a black king. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright Chris, I got you. Oh boy. Ah, nervous. Fellas, today I begin my speech. Hello, my name is LSK, and my talk is why Tom Brady is the perfect romantic partner. For his son. Now, I'm glad you said that, because as you can see here, we have a gorgeous child, and Tom Brady, we all seen what he does with his children. He gives them a good pet. So, if you can give your son a good pet, I believe you can be a great romantic partner. I mean, look at her. She's happy. When you're Tom Brady's romantic partner, you're happy. And that is why he's a goat. He's not just a goat on the field. He's a goat blocking lips, all right? And we know that. Tongue down his son multiple times. And uh, <laughs> the sentence I'm about to say might be the five most important words uttered in human history. Tom Brady's a strong romantic partner that can lift the world <laughs> above his head with a powerful kiss. And um, yeah, I think uh, I am to blame and here's why. We kissed. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, I've, I've kissed Tom Brady and I sent him this box that he sent to me and uh, our close it? friends. I cannot disclose what is in it, but his kiss was so powerful that I, I put something special in there. A ring he hasn't won from himself on the field. Okay. It was a ring of promise. Oh, okay. I was way off. Sorry. Yeah, it was a ring of promise. And I promised him that I'll never kiss him again because I'm not into that. But he's just so powerful and thank you. That is why Tom Brady is around. Did he kiss yeah. you as an adult or when you were a child? Uh, in elementary. Yeah. Like before the rings. <sighs> and, wait, wait, wait. You what? What? <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 
Hello, my name is Zach and my talk is How I Survived a Close Encounter with a Grizzly Bear. Oh, wow. Alright? Now, you may be thinking, why did I encounter a grizzly bear? I'm him, right? Now, I woke up one morning and I was like, damn, my brain doesn't work without coffee. My brain is literally coffee, as you can see from the picture. So, I went out to get some coffee. Not just any coffee, I wanted it all natural. So you take bear droppings, you excrete the juice, you mix it with a little bit of coffee bean, and it creates brain coffee. The most powerful coffee you've ever had in your entire life. But the hard part is getting the bear droppings. There's only one explanation for this. <laughs> toilet paper. <laughs> All right? Toilet paper. Milk and toilet paper. Because grizzly bears are lactose intolerant. But you leave milk out for them. They drink the milk. They get explosive hemorrhoidal diarrhea. Ooh, you leave yuck. the toilet paper and that's what they wipe with. Then you can just grab the toilet paper and you don't have to mess with the bear. There's only one thing we can do to preserve our future. And that is make more brain coffee. Because with brain coffee, humans will not look like this. <laughs> All right, look at that old ass phone. It has one camera lens, okay? This guy has never had brain coffee coffee in his life. That's why he's a skeleton right now. No offense, Chris. Oh, okay. Well, that was <laughs> Thank you. I picked that. Oh, my bad. That was your assistant, asshole. Thank you. Oh, wow. Dude, I can't no, get over Jesse's fucking picture, bro. It looks like you're fucking taking one. It's like you're slobbing an all, dude. All right, Zach, get me right. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right, I will begin speech. Hello, my name is Moochie, and my talk is it's time for society to stop ignoring paper time. Yeah, that's true. Right. Like, yeah, so what? Like, beaver, goddamn. It's not that expensive. And that's our slogan. <laughs> <laughs> so, why would you spend money on toilet paper and paper towels? Just get it a little wet. Come on. Yeah. What time is it? Time for me to clear up a few misconceptions. Why is it all money? <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. So, you already know. Money down the drain, toilet paper. What am I talking about? Paper towels. Paper towels. <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is all, it's interactive, you know? I, I'm trying to get you guys to talk. Yeah, you're making okay. sure we're listening. So yeah, no, seriously, stop spending money on toilet paper, Charmin Ultra Soft. Shit, Sean, I don't fucking know what I'm doing up here. Enough is enough. <laughs> because of this. Toilet paper, one, two, three, no. Paper towel, one and done. I'm going bankrupt. I'm trying to sell these goddamn paper towels. <laughs> I seriously need help selling these paper towels. That's my sister. Uh, <laughs> Steph says? Yeah, but it's like my parents invested in me for my company and now we're all bankrupt. So it's really tough for us. And yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Bro, how did you not fire off on that shit? I set it up to talk about their money. They're wasting money, pouring it down the drain. They're gonna go bankrupt. That's what I they tried. They toilet paper. Oh, son of a bitch. Drodel. All right. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, not Drodel. And my talk is about something I think could benefit a lot of people, you know, in the comments. I think you guys could really use this talk. Y'all see Wedding Crashers? We yeah. have. Mm -hmm. Well, I think if you've seen that, you know. Funerals, chicks, super horny. Oh. Way different than a wedding. Like, they're there, they gotta get their sadness out. All right, hey, you're at a party, you're at a party. Let's kill somebody, you see that? Right here, she's pointing. Oh, this dude over here, we need to kill this motherfucker. Get some sadness in here, because right now, this shit's not lit. So why is this happening? Why, why are we throwing a party, bro? Like, right, partying, we're out here, you know, maybe dancing, maybe dancing with somebody when you could get a little closer, right? This is how close I'm talking. <laughs> Sex, baby. The chicks at funerals are super fucking horny. You see someone get lit at a party, kill them. Because lit people have a lot of friends. More people, more friends, more people going to the funeral, right? That's what I'm talking about. Thank you guys for my time. I'm just gonna finish with this real quick. See this? That's a sad face. Oh no, my friend died. Too fucking bad, bro. We all got some pussy out of it. That's all that matters. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. That was really good. Dang. Wow, Jesse with the worst performing speech. Come up with a funny name for the, the award? award you'll give out at the end. All right. Lick these balls. <laughs> a lot of licks. Okay. Yo! <laughs> Go talk. Go nice. talk. You have coffee in my veins. Good coffee. No offense, Chris. I can't do it. goddamn. The party. <laughs> Fuck you, we all got some pussy. <laughs> and now, the moment of truth. Moment of truth. 
the award ceremony. Each one of you has one last big award to bestow. And that includes the audience. The Hottest Stepsister Award. Hey! The Worst Speaker Award. Hey! The Meat in the Mouth Award. Oh! The Homicide Award. Let's go. The blowjob award. It's going to be three times. Three times. Oh, you got a hella award. What? The award literally had a mouth on it. Hey, you won, bro. Hey, you won. I won, yeah. bro. Oh my god. Let's go. Jesse wins the talking points game. Now, boys, it is time to wrap it up with some good old quick lash. Let's do it. Quit. All right, everybody's in. It is now time for some quick lash. Round one is upon us. Two prompts will show up on your device. Answer them however the mood strikes. You'll go head to head against someone else's clever answer and everybody else will decide which one they like better. Points are awarded based on the percentage of people who went for your answer. So make them count. All right, answers. All right, here we go, boys. All right, let's begin. And we start with the okay. absolute dumbest question to pose in Yahoo Answers. Ooh. <laughs> Quick flash. How's my number? Damn. Dumb it's question. just if you're looking that up, something's like really wrong with you. Yeah, that's true. And next is the daily special at a diner for bears. <laughs> oh, God. People, it's voting time. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought wow. I, I, thought oh, I, I was quit, getting dude. quick flash knocked. <laughs> <out here. laughs> I did a quick. Who's a hater? It's easy to walk out of a timeshare pitch until they offer you Ooh. blank. <laughs> compliment. I feel like the complimentary just kind of like made it feel more official. Casinos exactly. hate it when you walk up to the blackjack table and yell blank. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you quip and you get quipped. Next up, something stupid a 23rd century human might find in a time capsule from today. Okay, everybody, pick your favorite quip. <laughs> Get quit. Time for round two, where the points are doubled, and so is the pressure. Dude, I, I think I'm gonna get quipped on both of mine. So do I. I did horrible. Kicking things Same. off, the name of a movie that only uses footage from a car's rear camera. <laughs> what? Dude, <laughs> what? <laughs> the fuck was it? Bro, mine are bad too. I just wanna see a documentary on Dwayne. I mean, I do too, but <laughs> not from the rear view of a car. And next, if Father's Day dinner were a tradition, what would be the table centerpiece? <laughs> like that? Is that how you spell cigarette? I don't think so. <laughs> 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 I think that's cigarette. Damn, Mitchell with zero points. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get zero too. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm, I did horrible. Next one up. The best dish to make to impress Jesus your vampire <laughs> Oh my lord. Yo. No, you can't go back to it. Dude. Dude. It's real. Pick your favorite. That was a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's got like an alliteration and everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's uh, a power. That was a good that answer. Was a good quip. Made sense. And now, the worst thing to read on a whiteboard when you enter a meeting room. I know which one is James. <laughs> I'm just going to vote for one that says my name in it. Wow! <laughs> I'm giving pity points, man. Hey, I got it. Let's go! <laughs> oh, got pity votes. I had no idea what to flip, bro. And here we have, if this player had a catchphrase, <laughs> it would be... Try refreshing. Try refreshing. I didn't know what to put. I had like five seconds when I got to it. Translates to the scoreboard. Was, round one was definitely stronger. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Get ready for Riplash, where points flow like honey. On your device, you'll see a prompt that requires three separate responses. Okay, player two looks a little freaked, but you'll do great. And since we have an odd number of players, you get to test yourself against my superior skills. Go easy on me, okay? Well, you're going against CPU. Dude, the CPU's luck. always raw, though. Bro, what's his name yeah. again? Gene. Gene. Fuck. Gene. Bro, Gene is 
godly. This better not be Gene. Right down to the wire. Hey, Ooh, I hope you got it in in time. Big pain. Zach gets take hit. the lead, boys. Zach it's gets time. hit with the glitch Bro, at the end of the round. to have a chance, Zach. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. hilarious. Too. That should disqualify you from holding political office. <laughs> Can you be bald and have lice at the same time? Yeah, that's a weird. Like, if you manage to pull that off, I don't want to vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already had a political office held by somebody on the right side. Probably a few people. Schmitty. Ooh, Schmitty. I, I wish Schmitty right. <laughs> Schmitty. <laughs> Schmitty. Three things all historians will remember the 21st century for. Who doesn't put on this? Oh my oh. god. Right, vote for the one you like oh, best. this is brutal. Jesus. Damn. Damn. Oh, no. I went the more savage one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> savage. <laughs> he said <laughs> Three things you can say to immediately get Damn, everyone's attention. Please. Bro, I said. Yes, sir, I what said, say? I said, rape, fire, and yo her titties out. <laughs> Powerful quip, Chris. Fuck. Oh, so I just get one quote. No, no, you can get the full point. You got it, because I didn't know. answer. Oh, Fall Damn, Chris Reese, takes that Zach. lead. Oh, it has come oh, for you, Chris. Zach, Damn. Zach is oh, the clutch. Hey, Zach, not last. Not, not last. last. <laughs> got saved there at the end. I rigged it so Zach couldn't win and I could win in my video. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed those Jackbox games. That was a lot of fun. Make sure you guys give this a thumbs up. Check out everybody else's channels down below. And let us know if we should do this again and what games we should play. Have a lot of fun doing these, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.